Hey, we're stuck fire. It's time for the next installment of the Gold Chamber, the Tactics Gold Chamber. Uh, this is a Meteor, I think it's a Featherlight. I don't know. Someone said in the comments. I don't remember that stuff. Um, and I pulled the Red Chamber. Now, let's do, let's talk real quickly. If you look at the two other videos on this gun, um, the first video uh, was done with a Factor Meteor bolt and then I swapped a shock tech bolt. They're all done with the fat rat. So this gun, let's back up a little bit. This gun has a shock tech lower two kit in it. So fat rat, fat hammer, um, rounded lug uh, with this sear works well with this sear on this gun. Um, shock tech springs, uh, meteor IVG and meteor caulking rod on it. So I wanted to keep that aesthetic. And uh, then it originally had the red valve in it that I had modified. So I had essentially bored out the inside. So it basically made it hollow on the inside. So it created a lot of volume. So you have to take that this may not be the same as your red valve. Um, this was bored out significantly. So there'll be a much greater um, probably change of effect if you build a system like this that has a fat rat and a factory red valve or even the factory black valve. You'll see a significant difference. You'll see a slight increase from my modified version, but this is heavily modified on the inside. So keep in mind on that, all right? So with that, in the previous video, the first video, and I'm just going off the top of my head, um, was really, we were using the factory bolt compared to a shock tech bolt. And um, just by swapping bolts out, we went from 270, almost to 300 feet per second, if I recall, just with a bolt swap. Uh, and then we did a Angry Autocockers, uh, Angry Paintballs, Shock Tech O-ring modded bolt in it, which then brought the FPS up another, like, nearly 10 or 15. I think it was, like, safe to say 10 FPS up to around max, like, 315, I think, and, you know, right in that kind of, um, that range. And um, it was a significant up, uptick on velocity without changing anything else. This gun is set at, you guys saw the on the previous video where we installed the gold chamber. Um, I think I put the reg on there. It was right at 205 PSI. I haven't changed anything since yesterday. And um, so everything should be the same. Shooting Nelson Anarchy paint, Sconey Epsilon barrel. I think it's the same. I don't remember what barrel I used the last time. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it probably does. I don't know. But it should be close. Um, I have about 2,500 PSI in the tank. Uh, it's a Ninja Flex. Let me put the gun up here. It's the adjustable tank. And it's set at around 700 PSI output. Uh, AK Sidewinder. Uh, and this is a new, a newer build. So a lot of this stuff has not been, you know, it's not been broken. This was a, it's a wall hanger, it was. So it really hasn't had a lot of time in setting in O-rings and stuff like that. So. I equate some of the kind of funkiness to the velocity swings due to a regulator starting to set O-rings in. And I know because it was a brand new uh, regulator. Um, and that will that will settle down with time and performance will increase in most cases. But um, anyway, um, we put the gold chamber in. I was calling it the gold valve. It's the gold chamber uh, by Tactics in here uh, on the previous video and I uh, kind of showed an install on that a little long. Uh, now we're gonna show how it shoots. Reg is set at 205 PSI. We'll double check here in a minute after we shoot it. And Shock Tech O-ring bolt by Angry Paintball. Shock Tech, um, basically lower tube kit, a Tactics Gold Chamber, Fat Rat, Shock Tech Springs, Fat Hammer, uh, IVG, and uh, caulking rod is Meteor. And with that, let's see how it shoots. Okay. 333, 332, 332, 226, 331, 320, 327, 330, 326. So let's say 330. And if I remember, I think I maxed out by, I want to say I was like 315. With the o-ring bolt so was there an uptick from a modified red valve with this setup yes there was so is there a noticeable 
uh, increase in velocity at the same pressure. So with that, I shoot the last handful out. And I got my, my little buddy, Angus, the, uh, the paintball dog, right here somewhere. I'm gonna twist the camera down so you guys can see this. Angus, come here. Easy. There he is. Oh, right, can you guys see? There's Angus the dog. He's hanging out with dad today. So, shot by measure man. Let's go and unscrew this. Screw this, this guy. And what we'll do is, I'm gonna drop it down to a well, it says 200 down. So let's degas. Let's pop it again. Sometimes these things move a little bit. It's a new rag. Things are settling in. 200. So it was 205 yesterday. It's shooting 200 right now. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to drop the velocity to 300 feet per second again. Screw this back on here. I gotta get an Allen key here real quick. Hold on. For Allen keys. I don't like this setup. I think it's this one. Let's see. Oh wait, these my metrics? These can use my metric. <laughs> the hell, I don't know. This is I think they're my metric. No, they're not. All right, so let me bring the camera back up. Up like this. And let's yeah, so it's going to go. And pull more paint bowls in here. And yeah, pass it back up. Check again. 331, 327, 324, 330. We'll say right around 330. We are going to want to lower, and the AK, we're going to screw the screw in. Uh, so it'd be clockwise if you're looking at the bottom. I want to. Right. I don't know what I've set at. 307, 310, 301, 306, 308. Um, let's pop the last ball out. There it goes. And let's see what that, right around 300 feet per second, where we are. Bring this guy back down. So at 300 feet per second, we're at 175 PSI. Okay. I'm sorry for the longer videos, folks. I, I just have long videos. It just is what it is. So if you're a watcher and you want to sit and watch, oh, that really sounded creepy. All right. You rub the lotion on the skin, right? Creepos. All right, let's go back up. We're gonna gas this guy back up. Oh, of course, I got a little leak. Don't work. Oh, it's my air fitting. <laughs> Weird. Of course, I have a little little leak there. I think it may be this O-ring got clipped. I think. I don't know. Let's try to... I may have to fight through a leak. I did something. I leak, made a leak somehow. Yeah. Well, it's 
leaking. Not happy with that. Okay, six, zero, one, zero, six. I'm gonna decap that as I, as I go down. I'm gonna run this in a little bit. Okay, we want 285. That's a lot, way too less. Now this is goofy because I got some leak somewhere. I don't know where it is. I think I cut it over. Two, two. Let me down just a little bit. Okay, 280, 281, 281, 280, 285. Okay, let's see where that is. Where's the leak? I think the leak is my three way. So anyway, that's not the way you want to do it, but I'm not going to change it. That's life. We're shooting 280. Let's bring this down for the leak. I think it's in my three-way. I may have just cooked the rear three-way O-ring is what it seems like. for. I did that yesterday, so I have a bad O-ring in there. I'll change that out. Not the end of the world. Uh, so right about 280 feet per second there. Maybe we'll screw this guy on here. Uh, 155 psi, about 280. So I would say 285. You'd be 160 psi with this setup. So frustrating that it's a little leak right there. Because I don't know where it's coming from. I'm scratching in there. Oh, let's see. Do I have a pencil on here? I don't have a paint roller here. I don't want to. Yeah, I do have one here. So just leave the barrel off for a second. I don't know where that's leaking. Make sure this is snug down tight. In that little o-ring there may have not have tightened it enough yesterday but i don't know we'll find out we'll find out so let's I'm gas it up without the actually there we go push that ball out the ball in there Back together, bring the camera back up. We're probably still gonna leak, but we'll see. I think it's my three way, to tell you the truth. Let me slice it. I may have did it yesterday when I was taking it apart. I was kind of rough. It is. Hold on, let me see if I can. No, well, that's not it. I don't know where it is. It's gonna leak somewhere. 234, 281, 285, 283, 289, 236, 33. Got a massive leak. It feels. Oh, it is my three way. There we go. Easy on off. Hate them. Just almost came apart again. Oh, I hate that. You know what? I like inception products. I hate that they're easy on offs. Want to come apart? Really easy. It's like you hit and miss, you get one. Like, this is nice. They had a match one. Falls apart on me. Drives me nuts. Absolutely nuts. Take this off. Oops, get up there. Drives me nuts so I'm sure there's no paint in here. Well you guys saw all that stuff. Paint here. That paint go through. that put this back together I think I'm still in frame I don't know let me see yeah somewhat in frame so anyway the gold chamber not valve and you guys saw we even with a leak so I don't know how much pressure I was losing but I was uh, right at uh, let's say let's say 160 psi to be safe at 280 to 85 feet per second and then at 300 feet per second 
as a, like right at 175 PSI, give or take. Uh, good paint barrel match. Use these Scony Epsilon barrels. I love them. I actually, I think, quite frankly, the, I I hate to go into a barrel debate, but these are good barrels. <laughs> Plain simple. Work um, for an autococker, amazing. Just a great barrel. But anyway, there you go. And just remember, with your red valve, it'll be different. That's all I have. Drop her out. We're gonna have a good one.